Welcome back, my friends. I am so glad you are taking the time to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. Hey, do you live in or near the Dallas-Fort Worth area? My wife and my daughter and I are going to be hosting a morning mindset meetup that's coming up February 22nd. Listen to the end of this episode to get all the details. We are studying 2 Peter chapter 1 at the moment, and Peter has been giving us a list of qualities that we need to be making every effort to add to our faith. And we are in verse number 6 today, and Peter tells us, that of all these things we've already been encouraged to add to our faith, the next is godliness. Now, obviously, I don't know how that word lands on you when you hear someone say, you need to learn how to be more godly. I mean, that could be very overwhelming to hear that because we all know our own humanity, our own flaws and warts and problems that we have that prevent us, seemingly, from being godly. But let's just dispel a rumor or two here, or a misconception perhaps is a better way to say it. When the scriptures tell us to be godly, it doesn't mean be God. It doesn't mean be perfect. It means the direction of your life and the overall characteristics of how you live in the world are to reflect God. They're to be along the line of what he would do. You see, there's room in there for imperfection, not that that's our goal, but just because it's a reality. And so when Peter says we're to add to our knowledge self-control and we're to add to our self-control steadfastness and we're to add to our steadfastness godliness, He is saying this, like all the rest of those characteristics, and there were more prior to those, are things we have to set our minds to achieve, to move toward. My friends, it's kind of like if you decide to go on a trip. A good example, my family and I decided we were going to come to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and we are actually here right at the moment. We had to make a decision. That's the direction we were going to move in. We had to make some plans on how to get there, what route we were going to take to arrive in the DFW area on time at the place we had reserved. In fact, we had to make plans to reserve a spot for us in our big RV that we live in. You see, you have to make a decision about the direction you're going to go. Is your life going to be one of godliness or godlessness? You see, the characteristics of Jesus Christ that we see in the New Testament, that he lived out before human beings so that they could see and witness who he was and that he truly was the Messiah, are to be displayed for our modern world. And you know how they're displayed? It's not because Jesus comes down, takes on the form of a baby in a mother's womb again, and lives it out in front of everyone. It's because now he lives within every one of us who claim the name of Jesus. He is living through us. And my friends, we get to be a part of that amazing demonstration. We can set our minds with determination. I'm going to live a godly life and then be careful. That's not where we grit our teeth and make a list of rules and try and live up to this standard of godliness. It's where we do kind of the opposite. We lean into Jesus and receive his strength to live the kind of life that we should. My friends, you can do that today in your workplace, in your home, in your neighborhood. I pray that you will be able to understand that and apply it today. Okay, information about the Morning Mindset Meetup in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's February 22nd, 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Plan on purchasing your own dinner. And it's at Spring Creek Barbecue, 315 West State Highway 114 in Grapevine, Texas. I hope you will come out. We would love to meet you. We'll share a meal together. We'll share some stories together. And we'll share some encouragement together. It's from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on February 22nd. Please RSVP by emailing me, Carrie, C-A-R-E-Y, at carriegreen.com.